something really, really comforting about it being dark so early. You know, because winter's here and it's just, I don't know, it feels so nice, particularly when you're at home and it's all nice and warm where you've got like a cardigan on, a hat, whatever, and you just, you just wrapped up warm. It's really, really nice. But, well, it's 10 to 5 and it is dark. It's been like that for close to half an hour now. And it is ridiculous because it really restricts and things you can do. And I don't, I don't know, I'm torn. Because it's 10 to 5, I'm going to get ready and I think I'm going to take Shep out to meet Jen from work. And hopefully she doesn't finish work too late today, otherwise I'm going to be stood out in the cold with the dog for quite a while. Do you want to go for a walk, mate? We're going to go and find Mummy. Come on! You ready? Let's go! This, this, this way. Unfortunately, it's going to have to wait a minute while I find my shoes and stuff. So I really shouldn't have got him worked up so quickly because otherwise he's just going to go around and start whining at me, aren't you? That's my impression of him. Yeah, like that. You need to put your lead on. Come on. Come here. Good boy. Wait. Not yet. Come on then, let's go. I think he spotted Jen in the window. <laughs> Shep, can you see her? Where is she? She down there. Not quite. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, someone's happy dog. Oh, stop beating me up with your tail. What the hell? Hi. <laughs> no jumping. Hi. <laughs> Come here. Hello. We've just finished watching the John Lewis advert for probably about the third or fourth time, and it's really, really good. Have you seen it yet? If you haven't seen it yet, go and watch it. Now I am seriously going to tell you what's happening at the end. So, if you don't want to know because you haven't seen the advert yet, stop watching, go and watch the advert, and then come back. Everybody's seen the advert, right? My very favourite bit is right at the end, as the kid starts running out to go and get the trampoline, and then you just see like the dog's belly fly over the top of her and the dog beats her to the trampoline and then as he's bouncing he kind of like his head goes on side his tongue goes out his ears go all floppy love boxers they're gorgeous and yeah if you haven't seen the john lewis advert and you've just found out how it ends it's your fault not mine now i believe it's time to watch it again that bit that is the best bit <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> that, that is my favourite scene. How cool. I also really, really want to believe that that is a real dog and that is his genuine face and he loves trampolines just that much. Probably the best thing about the John Lewis advert, not just this one but like any John Lewis advert, is that it kind of means to me that it is now officially Christmas. And we went out and we bought a Christmas tree yesterday and the John Lewis advert is out today. Now I'm watching Vlogmas on the TV and this is Zoella I think from last year and oh I just feel really Christmassy. I was listening to Christmas songs on the way to pick her up. It's too early for that. No, Don't it's do not. that yet. No it's not too early for that. Is it ever too early Chris? Nope. Never too early for Christmas songs in Chris's head. Also you have to excuse the fact that it's like half past what time is it? Half past seven, 20 to eight, and I am wearing my pajamas. I'm having an issue with work clothes at the moment where I only have four outfits that I can wear to work that still fit and fit comfortably and they're not too tight, they're not too loose, and they just fit. But there's five working days in a week, which means I don't have enough clothes to go from the weekend to the weekend. So I need to wash some stuff, which includes the clothes I was wearing at work today. Which means I have to put my pyjamas on because so few of my stuff fits. I've managed to find a pair of trousers that do fit. They're these ones. Oh, you can't see. They do not go with my top but they're these ones. They're just like grey sweatpants and they've got a big elasticated waist and they're super comfy. I've had them for years and years. Like I think about three years and they've never once fit me in that time. I think they're a size 12. I usually can't keep them up. 
today they are like the most comfortable thing I own. Now I think these might be my new favourite clothes. I'm going to wear them with everything. Pajamas included, <laughs> apparently. This is an amazing idea. We need to do this. Turns out the ep random episode of Vlogmas that I've chosen to watch is Zoella dressing Nala up in Christmas outfits for a photo shoot. How many Christmas outfits do you reckon we can get Chef in before he freaks out? And oh, I think he'd love it! Look at all the Christmas jumpers! The Chris has gone out because we're out of breakfast. So I need milk and I need cereal for tomorrow morning. So he's run to the shop to go and get me some because I'm too tired and I really can't face getting back up. He's been super awesome. He's run out to go get me some. And now I can have breakfast in the morning and not like have to scrounge for something else to eat. As you can imagine, we have been reading loads of reviews for loads of different products lately. And it's all this baby stuff. It's like a whole new world of products that we don't even know exist. And suddenly we're expected to know about them. We repeatedly keep getting directed back to the Witch website. These are the top eight push chairs according to Witch. We have Baby Jogger. Baby Jogger, which I haven't heard of, but I'm not much of a jogger. Britax, Recaro, Britax again, Eye Candy, Mother Cares Genie, and Jane's Rider. They've all got over 80%, so they've all scored really well. Now, I don't know if they're all suitable from birth. I'm going to have to look into that. Have any of you used any of those pushers that are coming in like top of the witch reviews? Do you know about them? Do your friends have them? Do you have them? Please leave us a comment down below. There's a couple on there that we've seen in the shops, um, namely the eye candy and the mother care. We've been, we've seen, we've had a look at, we had a play with, and the eye candy looks really good. The other one that keeps getting recommended to us is the Bugaboo. I think it's the Chameleon Three has been spoken about quite a lot, but that doesn't even rank here. Like the Bugaboo, where is that? That's way down the list. Bugaboo Buffalo is this one. Can't be any further down, surely. There's another Bugaboo there at 74%. Did I miss it? I found it. Turns out I didn't miss it. It's actually on the second page, like right down at the bottom. Still scored 69%. That's still pretty good, but it's nowhere near the other ones. I think that might be Chris home. It was Chris, he is back, and he's picked up everything that I needed, including festive friends. These, shut up, Shab. Festive friends. Festive friends. These are the best Christmas snacks, and this means that Christmas has officially started. I've been wanting to buy them for weeks, and Chris won't let me. But now he's got them all by himself. Thank you. We normally have to buy these two boxes at a time because you get like 10 festive friends in a box. It is not enough to share. These must be mine. The secret to eating festive friends. Hey, no! Stop it! You keep stealing mine. So the secret with festive friends, stop it, is like Pringles. You have to eat them in pairs. And they have to be chocolate side to chocolate side. Stop, stop it! Somehow they taste better that way. Can you guess which one it is? Can you guess? I know which one it is, I know which one it is. Which one is it? The best one. Which one? The teddy bear one. 